Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a spend the day with me morning routine kind of video. It includes my morning routine and just a bit of what I did throughout the day. Um, this particular day I went to the Mac student night and also hung out with my friend a little bit. I hope you guys enjoy. Good morning everyone and welcome to my morning. So fun fact, I was actually falling asleep whilst filming this. I was so tired. But my mornings usually look like this and then I hear this. So once I've decided that I'm actually going to open my eyes, I first of all open up Instagram. I don't know, it's always the first one I always open. This is my Instagram here if you would like to follow me. It's just Makeup by Phoebe Jane and I always just scroll through to see what's new and hey look, Kathleen Lights. <laughs> The next thing I do is go into my Twitter. Now I don't use my Twitter that much, but I'm trying to get the hang of it. So if you want to follow me, you can follow me right here. It's at Phoebe underscore Janie. And then I always Snapchat. Now, is this weird that I Snapchat people in the morning? I don't know. I just, I don't care. If you have true friends, then they can see your ugly sides. <laughs> and then I decide that I actually have to get up, even though my body's like, no, just go back to bed. You'll be fine. <laughs> I have to get up and... The first thing I always do is go to the kitchen because I like food and that's where the food is held. This is me trying to be really, really snazzy and putting my camera in the fridge. I always see people do this and <laughs> It just, it's such a weird concept to me. It's probably not the healthiest snack, but I'm gonna have some noodles just because my friends are gonna come pick me up and then we're gonna go get ready and then go into the city for the Mac student night. So my noodles are cooking. So I didn't get a clip of me eating my noodles, but I just had them and then hopped in the shower to wash off the residue of my fake tan. Now, if you wanna see what I use in the shower, just stay tuned for my night routine. And then I move into my morning skincare routine and no morning is complete without having some sort of music playing. So I just use my tea tree toner from the body wash. I love this stuff. I've loved this stuff for ages. Then I move on to a serum. This one's also from the body shop. I mentioned this in a haul a while back. It's all right. I'm not like the biggest fan of it. I'm just trying to use it up to be honest. And then I go in with my daytime moisturizer or daytime cream and I love this stuff. It is so good. If you have like hotness or redness to your skin, get it. And I'm making a sad face because I'm nearly out of it and it's so expensive over here. Okay, so I know I look a mess right now, but I haven't done my hair or anything. Um, I'm currently going to Shane's house and then I've got the MAC student night tonight. So I'm packing makeup for tonight to wear. Um, I'm just going to show you what I pack and a little bit of a warning I pack too much. I know I do, but I just like to have options. So basically here I've packed nearly two of everything. I know it's crazy. So this is everything I've laid out. This is everything I'm going to pack. This is what I'm going to pack it in. It's a Chi Chi travel case. I got this when I spent like a certain amount of money with Chi Chi, but it's awesome. I took it to IMATS last year and I love it. It's a little bit dirty inside. So the first thing I always pack is my toner, just in case my face gets oily throughout the day. And obviously with the toner, you've got to pack some makeup pad things. Then I always pack my moisturizer. I just use this, but I always pack it just to rehydrate. Then I know it's weird, but I always pack my finishing spray next, even though it's not the next thing. And then what I like to do is go through of what I would put on my face first. So usually I'll put primers on first. So these are the three primers I've got. I've got the Smashbox Photo Finish, the Stila One Step Correct, and the Hourglass Veil. I'll put them up the top, just in here. And then saying I'm going in with my foundation first, I'll put foundation. I've got Nashi Glow and Maybelline Fit Me, just because they're two different shades and I don't know what shade I'm going to be. So I'll put them all in there. And then I'll move on to concealer. So I've got the Rimmel Wake Me Up, the e.l.f. concealer for brightening, and LA Girl Pro Conceal and NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. Now, obviously, I won't use all of those concealers, or I might, let's be honest, I probably will, but I just like to have a few options. Then moving on to the face, 
I have two setting powders here just because this one is translucent and this one gives more coverage. So this one I'm going to pop away for later, but this one I'm going to pack in my case just in here in the bottom section. Then I go in with bronzer, my NARS Laguna as always, so I'll pack that in there just like that. Then I've got two blushes with me. I've got the MAC Buff blush, and this is really, really pigmented, so I don't know if I'm daring to use it tonight, but I'll pop that in there. And then I've got Makeup Stores blush, and this is in the color Luxury, and it's just a pretty corally pink color. So I like to pack these on top of each other, just so that I've got a little bit more room here. Then I've got two highlighters, I know, a bit extreme. I've got the Mary Luminizer and Becca Moonstone. And I've also got the What's Up highlighter from Benefit. So I'm going to pack all of them together. Then moving on to eyebrows, I've got the Australis Brow Tint, the Anastasia Brow Wiz, the Chi Chi Brow Pencil, and the Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade. So I've got all four of them. I'm going to place these smaller objects here just because there's a little bit of extra room. And the bigger pencils I'm going to pop in this side compartment here. Which then moves me on to mascaras. So I've got the Jordana Best Lash Extreme and the Clinique Bottom Lash. Then I've got some eyeliners. I've got the ones that I usually use. And I'm going to pop them in with my eyebrow pencils. And then I've got my eye primer, which is MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot. I'm going to pop that in here next to the Anastasia Dip Brow. I've got some lipsticks. I've got MAC Angel Lipstick, NARS Raquel, and Anastasia Beverly Hills Pure Hollywood, and MAC Boldly Bare Lip Liner, and my Horror Lip Balm. So I'm going to pick all of them up. I'm going to place them in the drawer that I put the eyeliners in, just because it saves heaps of room. And I've got three palettes. I know, excessive. Got the Too Faced Chocolate Bar Palette, Anastasia Contour Kit, and my Z Palette, just so I've got a variety of eyeshadows. And I always put my palettes right at the bottom, just so it's easy to access. Then I've got all my brushes. I've got my face brushes, and my eye brushes, and my beauty blender. I'm going to pop them into this pencil case here, just so they keep a little bit more sanitary. So now that all my brushes are in there, I can zip this up and pop that in my case. My brushes are usually the last thing I pop in here, just so it's a little bit more compact, and I can still shut the drawers. And as for the last compartment, I'm going to pack my hair donut, which I know is really random. And I'm going to pop some bobby pins in like that. So that should all fit in there now. So I filmed the outfit of my day slash night, actually the night I got back. I totally forgot to film it before I left, but this is what I wore. I'll leave all the links to everything I bought down below. So this is two of my good friends here from my course and we're just going to this cafe in Chapel Street in Melbourne and we're just having a little snack. <laughs> we were really bad and had some ice cream and some sodas. Sodas are so American, sorry, had some soft drinks. This is my Oreo ice cream, it was so good. And then this is the Mac Pro Store and this is where the workshops and the Mac student night was held. I couldn't film a lot obviously because it was a student night. Max Studio and I, we went and got some burgers, me and Shane, and these burgers were so good. They looked so gross, but they were so yummy. So I hope you can see me and I hope you can hear me. Um, I've got to be a bit quiet because everyone's asleep, but yeah, I just finished up at the Mac Studio Night and it was heaps and heaps of fun. I couldn't vlog a lot because obviously it was inside and it was like a workshop and stuff like that, so I wasn't allowed to film and it was hectic. There was like 200 people on the guest list and it was just horrible and I used the MAC cleanse off oil which is something I brought which I'll do a whole MAC haul just because I got a lot of stuff. Yeah I used it and all my makeup's off like I was wearing heaps and heaps of mascara and eyeshadow and it's all gone and I'm very happy about that my face feels so clean it was so worth it and I wish I bought the full size but I only bought like the to go size and I had a MAC voucher and I didn't use it so I'm gonna have to go back and use it which is just very, very bad because I'll probably buy more on there, but yeah. Um, so I'm at Shane's now and I just thought I would wrap up this vlog. Um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be comparing these two primers. So this is the consistency of the Smashbox Pore Minimizing Primer. Hopefully I can do a side-by-side -side comparison so you can see what they both look like next to each other.